Ah, knock the tripod. <laughs> that was so unintentional. Just because I know that looked really fake. Yes, there is actually coffee in there. There's not much left because I just drank it, but... Yes, there is actually coffee in there. So, yo, what is going on, guys? It's Garth here from Murphy's Film, and today I want to be talking to you guys about something that's been on my mind for the past couple of weeks. I've even got it up, written on my whiteboard up there that you guys can't see. Because it's been a long time since I've done this, and I'm not sure if it's going to happen again or not. I'm going to do it. Roll the intro. So I've been tossing with this idea for a while and I don't know how to say it. If any of you guys look at my work, you'd call me a street photographer. Most of my work that I put up online, I would say it would be classed, kind of classed under street photography. We can all kind of agree on that and we can agree there's a massive influx of YouTubers, Instagram, etc, 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 all trying to emulate and do street photography. I am no, in no means trying to say that I am an amazing street photographer or the style of, that I shoot is the only way to shoot. I am not saying that at all. Another way to describe the way I shoot would be documentary style, although not really, because when I see that I kind of think political events, that kind of stuff, so we'll throw that out the window. Basically what I'm trying to say is I don't want to be labelled as a street photographer. I want to be labelled as me. I want to be labelled as Murphy's film, Garth Murphy the photographer. The whole purpose of this video is I want you guys to look at your work, look at what you're thinking about your work and see if you fit, if you've limited yourself to any of these categories. I'll probably get some flack for this because I know that calling myself a life style or life photographer comes under many different things, lifestyles like you get traveling lifestyle which is people traveling the world, stuff like that but and life is a magazine which if you photograph for life you, you pretty much made it I'm assuming in the fashion world, I don't know because don't read it I just know of its existence but I like to think of my work as this is my life, this is a documentary of my life and things that I've seen and captured throughout my life. So I don't want to be known as a street photographer. I don't want to even think about street photography or architecture or landscapes or any of that. I want to consider myself a life photographer. And I know, as I've just said, I don't want to be considered it as the magazine or anything like that. I just consider it life because we've all got one life. Live it, take photos, do what you do. Do what you enjoy. Yeah. That's what's been on my mind. It's fitting into these categories that why are we limiting ourselves to these categories? I mean, whenever I stick a roll into that camera or any of my cameras up there, I'll take a selfie through it. Just usually as the first or second shot. Just, to, just because I flick through cameras so often that just to hear the shutter and stuff like that. So it's worth it for me, not the point. If you was to look through my archive, which is, which is this much. If you was to look through all that, there's a lot of things throughout my life that I've shot and that's only within the past four years. Yeah, the last four years. And this particular one, is my first binder of 35mm, which is the thickest, so... If you used to flick through all of these... God, there'd be some awful shots on there. But, I'm gonna go put these back, because I can't even sit down now. So yeah, it's, it's just something I've been thinking about. It's... I don't want to be classed as any kind of photographer. I want, I want people to be able to look at my work and think, that's Garth Murphy's work. Same way you look at Vivian Meyer, you look at Elliot Erwitt, you look at Jason Lee, you look at Matt Day, you look at Nick Exposed, you look at Jacob Murphy, you look at Jahan from Do You Develop, any of them, you look at their work, that's their style, that's their work. And I want you guys who are watching this video to 
have a think about your work and see if you've been limiting yourself because I know recently I've been working on a project that's quite near and dear to my heart due to some some life <laughs> some things that are happening in life so I've got myself working on quite a long term project and it's hitting home and it's making me think this project isn't sticking within one specific category it's fallen under life it it's we're life photographers we're not limiting ourselves you can tell i've been thinking about this for a while i've just rambled to the camera for the past 10 minutes so i say 10 minutes it's more like five minutes for you guys because i've cut a lot of ramble out so because this is a murphy's monday although it's not titled as it i'm gonna let you guys know i from the last video that I've uploaded, I have had a Leica M5, I have sold my Leica M5, I have bought a Leica M4, it's still got the same lens on it, it's got a Leica meter on it and it's there. So I'll throw up some b-roll here. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed the b-roll, welcome back. It's been Garth here from Murphy's Film. If you're happy the fact that Murphy's Mondays are back, let me know down in the comments. Although, nah, whether <laughs> I don't know whether I'll actually stick to it again or what, but see how it goes. Either way, it's been Garth here from Murphy's Film. Like, comment, share, all that other good stuff. I'm trying to become an active channel again, even if that doesn't include going out and POV videos and stuff like that. It, it's just... If you guys want to see more, let me know. If if you would rather wait and see POV photo walk videos, let me know. I, I just want to gauge you guys' opinion. But the life photographer thing is something I've been thinking about quite a bit recently. So, yeah, I'll speak to you guys later. Peace out. Bye.